Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week um, I'm doing a Twin Flame special for those of you who believe you are in Twin Flame relationships or others of you who are in a soul relationship where you feel some kind of very deep, undescribable connection to a loved one. But today we are using the Norman cards. We have five options. We have option one, two, three, four and five. You may pause the video and make a selection. We're going to be asking questions like, uh, what is the status of our relationship? What will come from it? And how do we, how will we proceed? What's going to happen? Okay, so go ahead, make your selection. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the reading already. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're asking, what is the status of our relationship? Okay, so here we have a very clear, uh, unambiguous message. Okay, we have love, all right, which is the ultimate energy of this connection that you have. Really true, beautiful, unconditional love. What is the status? Well, it's almost as if there's this communication that needs to take place about a commitment or about coming together or about someone actually, one of you, actually coming forth and declaring your love. And there's this talk about it or this beating around the bush uh, uh, regarding it. There may be people who are talking about it. There may be some gossip about it or there may just be some kind of um, back and forth, going back and forth about it, but not actually coming to that point. But this is these cards are saying that that's about to happen. If it's if it hasn't already happened, then, then you are going to have the commitment. You are going to come together or have that commitment where this person's going to be able to make a declaration of what they feel for you and it's unconditional. And this does not necessarily mean that you are going to be with each other, although the birds can also mean that that is the case. It depends on how people choose to read it. I feel that here, this is more about talk. This is more about what people will say. This is more about what others say about this. You may have some people like friends or family who don't think that this is going to happen and uh, they are like the naysayers and they are um, gossiping about it or talking about it uh, but here there is you on the verge of having a commitment you on the verge of receiving the news of it you on the verge of it becoming a reality that this this heart this underlying uh, love that you have this unconditional love is that it's real that it's something that's coming to fruition. So this is actually a really beautiful, beautiful uh, reading for those of you who are in this situation with this connection, with this um, twin flame kind of uh, relationship. For those of you who've chosen the second option here, we're asking what is the status of our twin flame relationship or our connection and what will come to be? Okay, so in this situation, it's um, there is a little bit of there is a bit of shadow here. There is a bit of doubt cast, but at the same time, it is also quite a positive reading. So the way in which I can read this is that currently you still have a long way to go, 
and there are some decisions to be made. There's some communication to be had. It is necessary for you to to engage with each other, to talk to each other, to actually um, communicate, to be able to come to this place where you could be really happy, where this love is truly magical and about it abounds. You know, it's just flowing, and there's and there's happiness. You can actually come there. You can actually come to that place. But in order for that to happen, there needs to be communication. There needs to be this couple, the two of you that communicate and that understand each other. Um, there's also this this idea of, of a commitment that, that's there that can come to be. And this is something that will bring much happiness. However, there is a long way to go and there's a decision to be made. And I feel that the decision that needs to be made it's not just one uh for you to be to make it or your partner to make it um but rather that whatever decision you make will be reflected by your partner so if you make a particular decision they will be they will be forced to make an, an a decision also uh because whatever action you take they are impacted by it and they can't help but take an action as well so it's as if you know whatever small action you take it has like a ripple effect and they are impacted by it and therefore they will move in in a particular way as a result of that so that is something to be aware of and to 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 be cognizant of to be sensitive towards that somehow this feels like it's not um it's built on a kind of deception so this could be that this person is still with somebody else or you are with somebody else and this is love that you have for another Yet the love that you share with this person is not actually your current partner or you're married or you are not honest about something or it, if that's not the truth if that's not true for you that if that doesn't resonate that's not your situation then uh, this is something that it's built on a kind of lie so you've been lying about your feelings so you haven't been really honest about what you feel you've been trying to deceive the other person with regard to the feelings this can come from you or it come, could come from them but it feels like you both have been doing that like you've both been lying about whether you should talk about how you really feel and yeah that, that's maybe why you have such still a long way to go because and and you have you know a decision to make about whether you're actually going to come out of this uh out, out of this deception it's almost like you are um you're protecting uh, your relationship with this deception so it's like you've chosen somehow you've chosen or you, your partner has chosen to protect this to look after this love this the situation this this relationship this this beautiful thing that you have by um shrouding it in deception by being dishonest about how you really feel by hiding it from others by being secretive about it, by being sneaky about it. And this is the only way that you felt that you could actually protect this or look after it or treasure it uh, because it's such a, a delicate and a, a fragile thing. It can be destroyed so easily. At least that is the way one of you sees this. So um, it, as a result, this has kind of made the road more uh, of a meandering kind of path and not uh, that straightforward. But what lies ahead in the future can be straightforward it's a discussion it can lead to a commitment that can lead to you coming together and a great deal of happiness a really great deal of happiness and lasting happiness like um something that you know where you build a legacy where you actually have children and or you have you build something together and it's something that lasts forever and so this is something that um you can create from this love and it's not just the love that i'm talking about that lasts forever it's like you you can give something to your community or you give something to others or you you have children and they they create something and it's it's like this huge big uh, beautiful thing that can come from releasing the dishonesty from being honest about how you feel so for you some of you I hear your sighs and your frustration and and you're saying, okay, you know, I'm being honest. I'm saying, I'm saying how I feel, but that person isn't. And what, what must I do about it? What can I do about it? Well, I feel that once again, it's we come back to the point where it, one of the messages that I got here just now was that if you make a move, they will make a move. Okay, but you don't necessarily need to move towards them for them to move towards you. You can just make a move in your life. You may even move away from them. 
and they will move towards you. Now, I'm not suggesting that you pay, play any games with them or anything like that. I'm just saying move along with your own life as you need to be, as you need to do in the most authentic way possible, being honest with yourself and how you feel. And they will have no choice but to do the same because you are connected at a level at which you are, you, you impact one another. Once again, as I mentioned already, there's this ripple effect. If you take an action, he or she feels it. If he, if he or she takes action, you feel it. You are impacting each other already. If you do it in a wholesome way, in your worth, in your authenticity, then you can't help but bring this relationship or this situation to the next level, to the place that it needs to be, all right? So good luck with that, and um, may you have the success that is waiting for you or that you're destined to have here. Hope it comes to you with more ease. Okay, the key here is to step out of this space of protecting this thing um, and let it just be. Trust have faith and be honest or be real about how you really feel. Okay, so um, that's your message for those of you who have chosen the second option here today. For those of you who have chosen the third option, we're asking the question, what is the status of our twin flame co connection or our deep love connection? What will come of it? Oops. I just don't feel like those are the cards that need to come out. It just feels like there's a lot to be said here. But I want a clear message. And this is why I put those cards away. If they need to come out, they will... I'm going to go with this one. This is clear for me. I wanted to ask for one other card as the underlying situation. There we are. Okay, so this Lenormand deck has a few extra cards in it, and um, this one also has a few extra cards, but I removed them and I, I didn't remove the ones from here. And so um, that it came, there's one of the extra cards came out. I feel is is what it was supposed to be. So this actually, this relationship here feels like it's based on strength, it's based on intuitive connection, it's based on this kind of um, communication, with this telepathic communication with one another. And the current status of this is a meeting. There needs to be a meeting that takes place, or there is to be a meeting that takes place. And it feels like there's been many chances for this meeting to take place, like you've been passing each other and being in the same vicinity. But there's this meeting that is ordained. It's meant to be. It's going to take place. And I feel that this meeting is going to take place in a spiritual realm. And this is actually really important. This is like somehow going to be a defining moment. Um, that all the strength here, all this hardship, all this difficulty, all this um, resilience that you've had to bear and have to, to put up with this, is going to come to the fore and you're going to be rewarded for it somehow. And how are you going to be rewarded from it? I feel like you're going to be released from it. Now, I'm not saying you're going to be released from this connection, but I feel that you'll be re released from the um, from the pain from it. I feel like you'll be, it's like a water, like a waterfall or like a watershed moment rather. Let me say that. It's as if, oops, <laughs> It's as if you come to a point where you are communing with each other in the divine. 
you're meeting with each other, you're connected with each other, and you are actually transported to another world. It feels like this connection is not one that's going to come together in the real world too soon. If it has, if this is literal and this, this has come to bear, that's fantastic. But it feels to me like this is something that's meant to be something that remains in the spirit world. It is going to be abundant and it is going to be quite rich in terms of the emotions and the spiritual lessons that come with it. This meeting has led for you to be connected to each other. The meeting that you've had with each other in the first place has led for you to you being connected with each other for a lifetime. And there's a lot of richness, wealth in the lessons that are learned along the way. You commune with each other in, an, in, a, um, in a divine world. You don't need to meet with each other in the physical world. You actually are already helping each other, being of use to each other on another level. And this is something that you really need. This strength here is what gives you the meaning of your life or the, the help to go on to bear what you need to bear with in this life, to carry the burdens that you have to carry. It, you, ha you have the strength because you draw it from this connection here and the rich lessons that it provides you with. On the F chance that you meet with this person, it feels like this connection here will not come to the fore. It feels like, uh, can you see that? Let me just make that more clear for you. Yeah, that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, so um, in the off chance that you do actually meet with each other here, um, the, this, these feelings that you have, these richness of emotions and experiences that you've shared with each other on another level, in another world, in another planet, or oh, in another plane, sorry, not on another planet, but on another plane, is something that's not going to be spoken about. It's unspoken. The strength that you garner from this situation is what is real in this physical lifetime. So this feels so intense. It feels so deep for me, and it feels quite sad as well it makes me feel like crying it makes me it makes me quite emotional and I feel that there's so much of pain in you because of this this distance because being able to commune on this level is quite amazing and mind-blowing and very 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 special it's very hard to actually experience something like this but at the same time it's extremely lonely and it's extremely sad because there's a part of you that feels that you deserve to be with this person now and here. And as I say that, I feel your pain. But as I say that, the spirits, uh, the guides who are supporting me as I do this reading, are basically saying you are together. You have the greatest um, that you can have. You're connected in a way that is perpetual and eternal and and in no in. And you can't be connected any deeper or in any other way as you are right now. It, it is the greatest connection that you can have. But at the same time, there's this, um, it's almost like this desolation that comes from, from having this experience. So my dears, I hope that um, this reading has helped you. And I hope you're not feeling as sad as I feel as I do this reading for you. The advice that I can give you as I go along here is that if you desire a meeting, ask for it to be. The other advice I could give you is that commune with each other um, in, a, in a spiritual world. I've done a meditation a while ago that's actually talking about healing this relationship. So I would say try that or try some other people's meditations that bring you into a space with your loved one if you aren't able to get there yourself and uh, heal the relationship from within in, in the spiritual place. And don't forget that this is the strength that you need right now. This is why you have this. This, this whole thing is there to give you the strength that you need as you live in this world. This is a very earthy card here. This is... Uh, 
the grounded card, what you need to do, how you need to survive in this world, what's giving you your breath, what's giving you the, the food that you have, the it's like how you can live, you know, how your heart can beat. This this card is talking about that. And this you receive as a result of that. So while it may feel like it's almost draining your life force or it's like you can't take it any more of it and it, you, you just don't have anything more to give and you want some kind of release from this or you want something to, to, to happen so that you can evolve to the next level, this is something that you should, you should not um, deny or you should not forget this. You, this is an important, an important aspect of your survival at this moment, your strength, your well-being, how you survive, how you actually live at this moment. This is what is, in fact, more important right now. That's, this is why you have this situation, um, because the the spirits or the 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 divine world, the universe, they are supporting you with with the situation uh, here to give you this because this is what they think you need and and you this is what's required from 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 the situation for you. So let me try and say that in a better way um, instead of rambling on here. Basically, the lessons that you need to learn in this lifetime are coming from this connection. And this connection gives you the strength to make to make the changes and the, learn the life lessons that you need to learn. As you learn the life lessons and you become this person um, through the strength that you have, you become, you, you are doing, um, it's like you are finishing off levels and opening new levels and unlocking new levels and coming to a new space. And this is part of your journey. And therefore, a reading like this can define your um, your journey or your connection. It's much greater than anything like this. And this is something you need to experience and you need to feel and move through and work through and and get through in order for you to come to that space that you need to be within yourself as your person. That person, being with that person, being with your connection, with your, your, your love has nothing to do with this. This is about you being with yourself. And this person is in the background helping you in this way. And um, yes, and this is something that y you need to go through by yourself. And as you do that, as you unlock those levels inside of yourself, this situation is going to change. And, you know, I would say look at another reading or do a reading for yourself, a personal reading in about three months or six months and see how it's changed for you. And in the meantime, work on yourself. Come from beyond a survival, from survival and go to a space where you are not so defensive, not trying to uh, work so hard, uh, not trying to be so protective and come to a space where you are enjoying, where life is a luxury for you and you actually are able to live in a manner that is more befitting of your worth. And so... And that when you're in that situation, this here will change. So if you can come to that situation, that that space uh, beyond that, then you're going to find that um, it will have impact this as well. And and yeah, and then you can do a reading and see where where you're at and where you find yourself, and where this love finds itself. So that was pretty long and pretty intense. I hope that's helped you in some way. I certainly hope it has helped you in some way. All right, so we're moving on to the next option here. What is the status of our love relationship, of our love connection? And where are we headed to from here? Okay, so I want to say that this doesn't feel to me like a like a twin flame relationship. Oh, I'm gonna get so many dislikes. 
<laughs> so anyway, I want to say that this doesn't feel like a twin flame relationship. What it feels to me like is a um, a kind of codependent, um, passive aggressive, quite quite destructive relationship here with this person. And this situation is actually eating away at you and engaging with this person further and creating something further with this person, having another baby with this person, having, you know, creating something more with this person is actually a bad idea. So if this is what you think is going to be the solution to actually making things right again, it's actually not. It's going to make it much, much worse um, for you and you're going to be quite unhappy this kind of codependent um, difficult abusive kind of relationship here is something that is that you might think ha has the, the the marking of a twin flame relationship or a, a soul connection but it's actually not it's a product of you not loving yourself enough and not really uh giving yourself what you're worthy of having, not believing that you can be loved more than, than, than this, and basically investing in a situation which is not really a, a twin a flame relationship. I hate to say this because I know you hate to hear it because you are so invested in this being a, that relationship, which you think it is. And many of you would have told yourself this over a very long period and be in this and maybe have tried to make a child or maybe have children already from this and hopefully trying to make another child or or expecting another child in this. But this situation here is, um, no matter how much you've been told that it's a twin flame relationship or that you have this kind of soul connection or whatever, this is like what people call the karmic relationship. It's like you have a real a, a real difficult time together that you need to balance out and, and work with each other and the best way to do it is to really focus on yourself and ask yourself why is it that I've placed myself in the situation where I am constantly being hurt and I'm constantly in pain and I'm not able to evolve through this situation I'm not able to reach my full potential my, poten my sorry my full potential what is it about me and the choices that I make in my life that does not allow me to be the best that I can be that doesn't even give me the space to be that because I deny myself that because I believe that this which is harmful for me is actually the best thing that I can have so those are the kind of questions that you need to ask in this situation and this situation is so destructive for you and it's so hurt for you the best thing that you can do in this situation I know this is not in the cards but I'm picking this up psychically is that you can leave you can relocate you can change your environment you can change your friends you can move away from where you are right now and inject a whole different energy into your life give yourself the permission to start in you and to actually create a new life breathe into you a new life one that is more worthy of you one that is deserving of you one that in which you feel valid and wholesome and loved and celebrated and cherished and there's nothing here like that there's nothing here like that it feels like there's this child either from this person um or not for you for some of you you might be for those of you where there's no kid involved it might be like you just thinking ah oh, we're about to have a new beginning i can just feel it oh we just you know we've come such a long way and the hurt is behind us and you know we're gonna have new beginning but this is it's not going to be like that it looks like all good at the beginning it looks fantastic actually but behind it and underneath it is eating you away this situation is eating you away it is destroying you it is soul destroying and as long as you're in this path and with this person, you aren't going to be well. You're not going to be well at all. You need to take a good look at the situation and look at yourself. Go inward and feel where it is that you need to recalibrate, restore your soul, retrieve your soul. Do some soul restoration work or soul retrieval work. Bring yourself back into where you need to be. 
I offer this kind of service on my website, but you don't need to come to me. There are many other shamans often offering this service. You can do this alone as well, of course. You don't need the help of anyone else. But this is something where you need to be rescued from. It's almost like you've been treated poorly for so long that you don't know anymore what it's like to be treated with love and respect and care. This has become your reality. You think it's okay to be treated in this way. And you might not even see that. You not, might not even see that there's something wrong with the situation. You might have disliked this and walked uh, and clicked onto another video by now because you think I'm talking absolute rubbish. But this is something that you really need to hear and you really, really need to do for yourself. You need to stop hurting yourself. You need to love yourself more if you want to attract the love that you that you desire, that you truly desire in your life. Not their love, because what they do is not love you. They give to you what you give to yourself. They give exactly to you what you how you perceive yourself. Yes, and you may not think you may think it's not true, but it is exactly that. That's how it works. You cannot nobody's gonna be able to treat you in this way unless you allow them to treat you in this way and you think that it's okay for you to be treated in this way. So you have to put a stop to this. There is true love waiting for you outside of this. But you need to walk away from the situation here. This is really destructive, difficult, sad situation. Okay, I'm very sorry to have to give you this message. At the same time, I know that this is a message that you need to hear. I really hope that you're able to come over this and restore yourself. Restore yourself to your former glory. Do that healing that you need to do with yourself. Thank you very much for coming by to the channel. Good luck in your path. And now for the last deck here. The question we're asking today is, what is the status of my twin flame or soul connection relationship? And where are we going from here? want one card at a time so I just put that back okay so this feels very much like uh, all the other uh, readings that I've done so far has felt like um, new energy, new so new twin flame type of energy, and one of them felt like it wasn't at all twin flame energy or soul connection energy. But yours feels very much like the old paradigm uh, twin flame energy. And the reason for that is because there's still this cat and mouse game going on between you two. And there's still this kind of message that's being misinterpreted between you or a lot of miscommunication where one person is saying one thing and the other person's not hearing that they're hearing something else and the, then they saying something and you are misinterpreting that and it's very much a kind of old paradigm twin flame energy and if you want to hear more about that I'm going to do an energy forecast I'll probably have done it and it's uploaded by now you can click up here somewhere this is basically this energy where your communication is eating away at the soul connection that you have. It's eating away at um, making this into something bigger or greater than it is. Now, there are so many ways of looking at this. And a lot of people will say, ah, yes, those are the negative forces at play that not allowing twin flames to come together, etc. And or not allowing true love to come together. Many people will say that. And you can think about it in that way. I don't see it in that way. I just see this as being a phase or a time the time is not right and the, there is a lack of understanding and there's growth that's needed between the two different parties so both parties need to grow here and you need to come to a 
a kind of path or a decision where you decide whether you're going to stay with each other and grow, or you're going to stay with us and grow, or whether you're going to move on. Okay. Now, I feel that um, for most of you, this is a kind of secret, like the depth of feelings and the emotions and what the interaction that you have with each other is a secret. It's not something that the rest of the world knows about. And you could probably write a book on it. It's probably so intense and so emotional filled and full of drama or just full of uh, such deep layered emotions, textured in most emotions. And there's so much that's come out of it. It's so rich in its ex experience that this is why you feel like you could, you've could you lived worlds just by living through this connection. And I feel here that the that the best way of resolving this here is to listen really carefully and not get, engage, just to listen. If you can detach, I know this is really, really hard uh, because this person triggers you, but if you can be with this person or talk to this person and not get triggered or not engage, just detach and listen to what they're saying, but really listen to what they're saying and listen to the subtext and what they're trying to say that they're unable to say. Yes, I know you're not necessarily a psychic and I know you're not a necessarily a, a psychologist and you can't like necessarily just read through but you have a soul connection with each other and you can feel what the other person's feeling and it excites you and it triggers you so calm yourself down just soften it soften that energy it's a bit too rough right now just play with it and soften it a little bit and let it calm down a bit and then call this person and communicate with this person I don't think it's a good idea to, it, it's a letter here, but I don't think it's a good idea to write a letter to this person or to to actually uh, text this person. It's best to talk to this person, phone them and let them do the speaking and then take away what they've said. Come back home or uh, go back to yourself and then think about it for a few days or a few weeks. Think about what they actually said. Because what you would realize is that they may have said one sentence, but it has like about 20 different meanings. And it, it means so many different things. And they're trying to say so much in those so, so few words. And it's actually just uh, driving them crazy. And it has been driving you crazy until now. It's been eating away at your relationship. So if you're fed up with this and you don't want to continue, well, the path is clear. You can take another direction. You don't have to continue with this. But if you're willing to invest in this, then the way to do it is to actually hear what they have to say. And you're going to say, oh, well, when are they going to hear what I'm going to say? When are they going to actually, you know, just give me the time of day? And what about my feelings? Well, you know, that is obviously very important as well. But if you want to make some headway with this person, then you need to actually uh, just listen to what they have to say. Because what they are saying and how it's coming across to you are... Uh, completely different things and there's the level of miscommunication here is so grand it's like the greatest i've ever seen so it's just you know you need to work those things out um you know you might want to consider getting a, a, a couple's counseling or something like this to help you with this the other thing is that um the secrecy or the the hiding or the uh, th that which is not clear, that which is not on the surface. There's too much of that here. It's like this layers and layers and layers of intricacy and secrets and different feelings and feelings that are hidden and feelings that are, you know, being somebody like one of you is trying to uh, behave as if you don't have those feelings and then it comes out in a certain way and then the other one is doing the same thing and it's just like a, just like a complete mess you need to make it bring it down to basics listen to each other ground yourself don't let this crazy huge energy just keep you buoyant all the time ground yourself bring yourself down to earth and and bring this energy into the earth so that you can actually work with it okay so good luck with you two and um yeah i hope that you actually are able to do that and if you do walk away it's also fine it's fine it really is you are ready to walk away from this if you choose to right now and it won't follow you. You'll be able to get on with your life. All right, so good luck with that, whatever you've decided to, to go with. So, wow, that was pretty intense, these readings. I wish you all very well. You know what my feelings are with regard to Twin Flames and what I really think of it. If you don't, you can click here. If you want to know what I think about or how I feel or how I've been shown, 
the energy has changed for uh, soul connections, then you may uh, go to this video here. And for the rest of you, I'll, I wish you so very well. I hope that you come along um, well in your relationships. I wish you all the love that you desire and that you crave. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.